Hello. Let's have detailed understanding of show me tell me questions about Toyota Auris automatic hybrid car for your driving test. After your eyesight tests, you will be asked two vehicle safety questions. These questions are check that you know how to carry out basic checks to ensure the vehicle is safe for use. You will be asked two questions, one show me and one tell me. If you fail to answer either of these questions correctly, a maximum one driving fault will be recorded. You'll fail your driving test. If your driving is dangerous or potentially dangerous, while you answer the show me question. Let's have a look on all show me tell me questions and their answers. Show me or explain how you would check that the power assisted steering is working before starting a journey. If the steering becomes heavy, the system may not be working properly. Before starting a journey two simple checks can be made. Gentle pressure on the steering wheel, maintained while the engine is started, should result in a slight but noticeable movement as the system begins to operate. Alternatively turning the steering wheel, just after moving off, will give an immediate indication, that the power assistance is functioning. 1. With the engine turned off turn the steering wheel to one side. 2. While keeping the pressure applied start the engine. 3. If the power assisted steering is working properly, the steering wheel should make a small movement. Show me, how you would check the parking brake, handbrake, for excessive wear, make sure you keep safe control of the vehicle. Answer: Apply foot brake firmly. Demonstrate by applying parking brake, handbrake, so that when it is fully applied it secures itself, and is not at the end of the working travel. 1. Apply the foot brake. This will stop the vehicle from rolling forwards or backwards. 2. Release the hand brake and then reapply it. 3. Remove your foot from the foot brake, if the vehicle remains stationary, and the hand brake hasn't traveled too far upwards, then everything is okay. Question. Show me or explain how you would check that the power assisted steering is working before starting a journey. If the steering becomes heavy, the system may not be working properly. Before starting a journey two simple checks can be made. Gentle pressure on the steering wheel, maintained while the engine is started, should result in a slight but noticeable movement as the system begins to operate. Alternatively turning the steering wheel, just after moving off, will give an immediate indication, that the power assistance is functioning. 1. With the engine turned off turn the steering wheel to one side. 2. While keeping the pressure applied start the engine. 3. If the power assisted steering is working properly, the steering wheel should make a small movement. Show me how you would check that the horn is working, off road only. Answer. Check is carried out by using control, turn on ignition if necessary. 1. Show the examiner the horn which is located in the center of the steering wheel. 2. Ask your examiner if they would like to to check the horn. If they do then give a short beep on the horn. Remember, there is no need to start the engine or power the car to answer this question. Question, show me how you would check that the direction indicators are working. Answer. Applying the indicators or hazard warning switch, and check functioning of all indicators. May need to switch ignition on, prompt not to start engine. Don't try and test your indicators individually, this wastes time and you're more likely to get something wrong. The easiest way to test the indicators, is simply to turn the hazard lights on. Once you have turned the hazard lights on, exit the car and check that all six lights are working, two at the front and rear, and one on each side. Remember, there is no need to start the engine or power the car to answer this question. Question, show me. How you would check that the brake lights are working on this car? Answer. Operate brake pedal, make use of reflections in windows, garage doors, etc., or ask someone to help. May need to switch ignition on, prompt not to start engine. Question, show me, how you would clean the windscreen using the windscreen washer and wipers? Answer. Operate control to wash and wipe windscreen, turn ignition on if necessary. 1. Power the car up. 2. 
Pull the right stick towards you for front windscreen for approximately 2 seconds and then release. Similarly towards opposite side for rear windscreen. 3. This should have squirted sufficient fluid for the wipers to clear the windscreen. Remember, the wipers will stop automatically once they are complete. Question, show me, how you would set the front and rear demister controls to clear all the windows effectively? Answer. Set all relevant controls including, fan, temperature, air direction, source and heated screen to clear windscreen and windows. Have you on this picture for appropriate function? Question, show me, how you would switch on the rear fog lights and explain when you would use it, them. No need to exit vehicle. Answer. Operate switch, turn on dipped headlights and ignition if necessary. Check warning light is on. Explain use. 1. Power the car up. 2. Turn headlights to dipped. 3. Turn on the fog lights as shown in picture. Explain that you would only use the fog lights when visibility is under 100 meters. Question, show me, how you switch your headlight from dipped to main beam, and explain how you would know, the main beam is on, whilst inside the car. Answer. Operate switch, with ignition or engine on if necessary, check with main beam warning light. 1. Power the car up. 2. Turn headlights to dipped. 3. Push the left stick towards the dashboard to turn on the main beam. Explain that, you can tell that the main beam is on using the blue indicator on the dashboard. Pull the left stick back, towards you to cancel the main beam, then turn off the headlights. Question, tell me, how you would check that the brakes are working before starting a journey? Answer. 1. Brakes should not feel spongy or slack. 2. Brakes should be tested as you set off. 3. Vehicle should not pull to one side. Question, tell me, where you would find the information for the recommended tire pressures, for this car and how tire pressure should be checked. Answer. 1. You can find the correct tire pressures, in both the manufacturer's guide, or normally in the driver's side door panel. 2. Tire pressure should be checked using a reliable gauge. 3. Tires should be checked and adjusted when cold, as warm tires give false readings as hot air expands, causing the pressure to appear higher than it otherwise would. Question, tell me, how you would check the tires, to ensure that they have sufficient tread depth, and that their general condition is safe, to use on the road? Answer. Explain to the examiner that you would. 1. Check that there are no cuts or bulges on the side wall of the tire. 2. Ensure there is a minimum of 1.6 mm of tread, evenly over the width of the surface of the tire. Question, tell me, how you make sure your head restraint is correctly adjusted, so it provides the best protection, in the event of a crash? Answer. Explain to the examiner that. 1. The center of the headrest, should be in a line with the center of your head. This is approximately, in line with your ears and eyes. 2. Ideally the headrest, should be adjusted so that they are tilted towards you if possible. Question, tell me, how you would know if there was a problem, with your anti-lock braking system? Answer. Explain to the examiner that. 1. Most modern cars have anti-lock braking systems, ABS, fitted. 2. If there is a fault with the ABS, then a warning light will show up on the dashboard. 3. When you power up the car, the ABS warning light will always light up, for a few seconds to show, that the warning light is working. Question. Open the bonnet, identify where you would check the engine oil level, and tell me how you would check that the engine has sufficient oil. Answer. 1. Open the bonnet. 2. Find and identify the dipstick, and remove it to check if the oil is, between the minimum and maximum markers. 3. Wipe the dipstick, with a dry cloth, and then check the oil level again. 4. If it needs topping up, you can do so via the oil filler cap. Question. Open the bonnet, identify where you would check the engine coolant level, and tell me how you would check, that the engine has the correct level. Answer. 
1. Open the bonnet. 2. Find and identify the engine coolant expansion tank. 3. Check the coolant level is between the minimum and maximum markers. Remember that you should check the level when the engine is cold as the liquid will expand when hot. Question. Identify where the windscreen washer reservoir is, and tell me how you would check the windscreen washer level. Answer. 1. Open the bonnet. 2. Find and identify the windscreen washer reservoir. 3. Explain to the examiner that you would open the cap and the look inside to check the level. Question. Open the bonnet, identify where the brake fluid reservoir is and tell me how you would check that you have a safe level of hydraulic brake fluid. Answer. 1. Open the bonnet. 2. Find and identify the brake fluid reservoir. 3. Check the fluid level is between the minimum and maximum markers.